Hi, welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and today I have a very special kind of video. The first part is something that I haven't ever done before. On Saturday, one of the nearby communities had a community garage sale, and I convinced Grumpy Grandpa to take me and just drive me around so I could visit the different garage sales. So the first one I went to was a real treasure hunt. The first thing I found was this huge box of greenery. It was a real find. It just so happened that I had gone to Dollar Tree a couple days before and at the top of my list was greenery and Dollar Tree. I went to two different ones and none of the Dollar Trees that I visited had any greenery. So I asked the lady how much the box of greenery was and she said $3. Well, you know, I snuffed that up in a hurry. When I got home, I took out all the greenery and counted how much was there. So the first thing I found was I found 12, let me see, I wrote it down so that I wouldn't forget after I counted it. I found 12 of these, and I think they are from Walmart. It says Everyday Living, and I think that's Walmart. And they were $4.99 a, a branch, okay? So that was $60, wow. Then at the bottom of the box, I found five of, five or six, six of these, and they're from Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I can find the tag. And these were $19.99 for a big branch can't find the tag, you'll just have to trust me. No, here it is. Hobby Lobby, $19.99. So total MSRP for this box of greenery was $180. So I told the lady, I'm gonna run this back to the truck and then I'll be back. So as I turned around after I had paid for it, there was another lady that was going through the box and she thought I was one of the garage sale people. And I said, no, I just bought the box. And she didn't understand and she said, how much is the box? And I said, no, I just bought the box. And another lady said, what she's trying to tell you is to get the heck out of her box, she just bought it. So we all laughed. And she said, oh, I didn't understand, I'm sorry. I said, no, that's not a problem. So I took the box back to the truck where Grumpy Grandpa was sitting. And I said, I just got the buy of the century. And he went, uh-huh. So I went back to the garage sale, the same place. And she had this beautiful bird sitting on the table. And it just really caught my eye. I just really loved it. I don't know why, I just like the shape and the color, and it just really caught my eye, and so I looked at it, and I looked at it, and she was selling everything for $3. A juicer, a brand new electric skillet, never been used, $3. I heard her say she was moving. So I thought, you know, for $3, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I guess I could decoupage it for crafting, but. It's just so pretty and I really like it. So I thought, okay, for $3, it's a deal. So I went up to her and I said, you know, how much do you want for the bird? And she looked at me and she said, just take it. And I went, really? And she said, yeah, just take it. So I ran back to the truck with my bird and I said to Gram Grumpy Grandpa, oh, I just even did better. She gave me this beautiful bird for free. And he went, uh-huh. So anyway, got in the car and we drove down to the next garage sale. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think right now I'm just gonna set it out because I just really like it. So I think I'm just gonna keep it for a while and set it out because I think it's real pretty. 
So anyway, we went down to the, you know, we drove around. And so then there was this garage sale and I saw rainbow boots. And I've been looking for rain boots forever, you know, to stick flowers in and do April showers. So I said, rain boots, pull over. And he went, huh? And I said, never mind, just pull over. So there were these two little girls. Well, they were probably teenagers. And they had a small table. And they had rain boots on their table. I've been looking for rain boots for years. And sure enough, they had rain boots for $3. What a deal. Now, they need cleaned up a little bit, but that's okay. I can take the mud off the rain boots. And so... I got the rain boots for three dollars. I was so excited. And then, what do you think they also had on the table? Another thing I was looking for, and that was a child's umbrella. Now I'm not going to open it up because it's bad luck. But it's a little, uh, what's that called? Kitty, Miss Kitty, Little Kitty umbrella. And I don't care about it. It's got a pretty pink handle but I'm gonna spray it pink anyway, and then I'll stick flowers inside. You know, uh, April showers bring May flowers. I was so excited. Not only did I find the rain boots, but I found the umbrella. So then this was 75 cents. So for 375, I got my rain boots and I got my umbrella. What a good day. Then at another garage sale, this lady was a crafter garage sale of my dreams. So she had white pom-poms on sale, for sale. And so, you know, who, you can't live without white pom-poms. And they were 50 cents. And I, there's eight big ones and two small ones. So I got white pom-poms. And then she had, and I had been looking for these. I wanted some boas to do a wreath. No boas to be found at Dollar Tree. But she had boas for a dollar, pink boas for a dollar. What a deal. So I took the pink boas for a dollar. Then I said, oh, I'm a crafter. And she said, oh, I am too. So then we started talking about Dollar Trees, which were the good ones, which one had the rude manager. So I got that. And then she had this little ceramic pot, which you can always use for crafting. And so anyway, it added up to like a dollar seventy-five. And anyway, she said, um, "Oh, just give me a dollar and a half." And so anyway, I got a real deal there, so I was real happy. Then um, she had uh, no another place had this little box, just a plain little box. But you know, when you craft, these little boxes really come in handy. And that was only a dollar that I found at another one, so I was real excited about that. Then another place um, had these uh, picture frames. Um, let's see, I don't remember. I think they were like 50 cents. And these are picture frames with a clip that you can attach a picture. Well, that one just fell off. But you can attach a picture. And I pay a dollar and a quarter at Dollar Tree for these. And I think these were like 50 cents. So I got two for a dollar and I pay a dollar 25 at Dollar Tree for those. So that was a good deal. And then one place had where those picture frames were, they had these toothbrushes on in the sealed packet for two dollars. And who doesn't need extra toothbrushes, right? So I picked those up. And then another lady had um, this really pretty silver tray, mirrored silver tray on. And I've just gone through the master bathroom and reorganized the linen closet and all my makeup and all the drawers. I still have to get underneath the sink, haven't done that yet. But anyway, I've reorganized everything. It looks real pretty. I should have done that months ago, but we all know what my summer was like. But anyway, I picked this up and it's all in perfect condition. And so I'm gonna use this on my bathroom counter to keep my stuff organized. So that was a really good deal. And then the last thing I found 
was this uh, book for $3, I'm So Glad You Were Born. And it's a real cute book, and it has really nice um, illustrations in it. Let me show you. Let me just open a page, full page illustrations, which I really like, full page illustrations. And um, one of the, the author is Ainsley Earhart, who's on Fox News. And um, it was just published last year. And so I got it for my great grandson. Now it's for an older child, but I believe that starting to uh, gather a lot of books for a child's uh, library is always a good thing. So I'm always looking for nice books to start for William's uh, library. So even though this is a uh, book that's for an older child, I'm So Glad You Were Born, Celebrating Who You Are by Ainsley Earhart is a good start for his children's library. So that is what I got at the garage sale. I spent probably about $15. So I had a great treasure hunt and Grumpy Grandpa just sat in the car. I used to go garage selling all the time at uh, when I lived in Texas with one of my best friends, Karen. Uh, we met about 48 years ago when we were both newlyweds in Naples, Italy, and our husbands were junior officers in the United States Navy. And we stayed in contact all these years. Um, her husband stayed in the Navy and they lived all over the world. And when they retired, uh, they moved 15 minutes from our house where we had lived for years in Houston, Texas. So um, we've stayed in contact through kids and grandkids. And every time we go back to Houston, she and I meet up and um, we've stayed close. The other best friend that I used to go garage selling with all the time in Houston was my neighbor. Carolyn and Carolyn was a hoot. So one day we were ready to go garage selling and I called her and I said, come on, Carolyn, it's time to go. I'm in your driveway. And she said, oh, I'm not ready. I haven't put on makeup. I said, Carolyn, we aren't going to a Vogue photo op. We're going to garage sale. You don't need to put on makeup, so come on. So she came out and we went to garage sale. So we were at about the third garage sale. She came up and she grabbed my arm and she said, you got to take me home. I said, okay, why? What's wrong? She said, I forgot to get dressed. I'm still in my pajamas. I said, Carolyn, nobody even noticed. I said, if anybody says anything, I'll just say that I got you a day pass out of the rehab facility and you just stand there and smile and nod your head, okay? And she said, okay. So nobody noticed she was still in her pajamas, but we still laugh about the day that Carolyn and I went garage sailing and she was still in her pajamas. So we had lots of fun. Grumpy Grandpa wasn't that much fun garage sailing. He just stayed in the truck and looked at his phone. And every time I took something back all excited, he'd just go, uh -huh, where do you want to go next? But I had a lot of fun. Okay, now I have a Dollar Tree haul. So let me switch out my garage sale treasures to my Dollar Tree treasures and I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back with Dollar Tree. So the first thing I got were some snacks. Gotta have my snacks for my late night crafting. All right, and then I had to get some candy because Easter's coming. So I got some Twizzlers for Grumpy Grandpa, which will probably be gone before Easter. And I got some chocolate eggs. Got a couple bags of those, which may or may not have already been dipped into during late nights uh, crafting. Then Grandpa's favorite jelly beans. Got a couple of those. Then some Queen Anne chocolate covered cherries, which are also his favorite. Okay, so that's that with the snacks gonna kill his diet. Then I also got an unexciting hairbrush, but I left my good one in Texas, so I needed to get another one. 
All right, then I got some crafting things. These are stickers, some new stickers that I hadn't seen before. These are patriotic rub-on transfers. Ooh, that's shining badly. They had like nothing for patriotism, 4th of July, Flag Day, just a, not nothing. I was looking for red and white and blue flowers, no. But I got these for spring and summer. Dog on it, there. Um, I got this pretty one. Uh, and then I got this one of flowers. So those are some of the stickers I got. Then I got this. This is a planner, but I didn't get it for planning because who would be that organized? But on each page has a different little picture of flowers. And I thought that would be great for decoupaging small things. Just cut out those little squares of flowers to use for decoupaging. Speaking of decoupaging, these were the first um, dinner napkins that I found for decoupaging. I have a real hard time finding pretty flowers at Dollar, Dollar Tree for decoupaging. So I wasn't crazy about these, but at least it was something with the pattern. But then at the second Dollar Tree, I found these, and these are both uh, dinner napkins. And I love this. And I've, there's 14 um, guest napkins, the, the large ones, in a package. And I've already opened this one. And I used one of the napkins to decoupage a flip um, where you take a uh, formerly used item and flip it into something else. And I had found some coasters at the thrift store, which were really ugly. And I painted them and decoupaged these, this pattern um, onto the coasters and made them look really pretty. And so um, this is the pattern that I used to decoupage. They came out really nice. So I got these guest nap, uh, napkins there and I'll probably use that pattern again to do some, another decoupage product, uh, project. Because they're really, that's a really pretty pattern and they decoupage nicely. So then I got some white and pink carnations. Did not have any red, white, and blue. Then I got some pink butterflies to use. I'll make a wreath of some kind. And so those, those are the, oh, and then I got some of, well, the butterflies have some onion grass with them, so that's good. And the pink butterflies, that'll help. Then the two things that I did find other than the stickers for patriotic decorations is this star it's a garden stake and of course we live in a condo i don't have a garden but i'll clip it off and and use it for um like a banner like a swag and then this little guy i'm not real big on gnomes but i thought he was kind of cute so i'll use that let me get this out of the way so when i stand up i don't fall and break my neck then I got this little glass container. You know, we see these all the time. Please tell me this one's not broken. Yes, it is. It is chipped. Doggone it. Dollar Tree is not real good about wrapping stuff. But I may have broken it on the way home because grumpy, grumpy Grandpa's not always real careful about having glass things in there. Okay, and then I got this one. This is a new one. This is just a little candle holder that's in a gold stand. So um, I can use that for something. Let me stick this over here. Then I found this little box of laser cut things that are real fun to use for different, uh, you know, paint them and attach them to different things. I found, a, I got a six pack of sponge brushes which are great when you decoupage 
or paint and you need sponge brushes. Then, I hadn't seen these in a while, a double ring um, wreath form, the small ones they are two-piece wreath forms. Can't read it. Eight inches. And I'll probably um, take them apart. You can They're just attached by uh, cardboard. And I'll probably take them apart and do two different rings. Then I got two foam wreath forms, eight inches, because I was all out and I like to always have those in my stash. Then I got two of these. Now this was on the $3 aisle because I wanna make a new tier tray. And these will be nice to have a new tier tray made. Then I found this, which I think is really cute. This is new to me. It has a little LED light inside. It's a, a lantern. And um, I think that'll be real cute to make for a decoration. So they had them in pink, this blue and white. Then I used my last hat for uh, another um, craft. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you need to hit that subscribe button right now and the notification bell because I have a, several videos coming up, one of which I've decoupaged those coasters, those ugly coasters I told you about, uh, on a flip video. And then I used uh, the last little straw hat that I had um, on a shop your stash video that I bought like two summers ago. And I made a real cute little wreath summer wreath using the pink straw hat. So I got another straw hat to have in my stash. Then I got some of these. And I have to tell you, these are new to me. I've never seen these before. They were on one of those little round glass tables you see when you first go into Dollar Tree. And these really caught my eye. This is an owl, like you didn't know. bird and butterfly. Are those not just the cutest things? I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. There was also a unicorn, but I'm not into unicorns. But anyway, aren't those just the cutest things? So anyway, I got three of those. Really cute. Then I got Oh, I got some scissors with the pointy ends because some of my scissors just aren't very sharp with the pointy ends. Then this is a, can't see, three pack of little round things that say gather. You can always use that. Then this is a two pack of the word believe that always go nicely on wreaths. Then I got three of these because they don't always have them. And you know, you can use them at, to hang up or you can use them to um, use on a stand. Okay, so I got three of those. I was real happy to find those. I had to really dig for them. One of them was on top, but two of them were down under, you know, a Dollar Tree. You gotta look up, you gotta look down, you gotta look right, you gotta look left. And sometimes you have to look at the very bottom. Okay, now I don't usually buy these these little things. These are the, the fairy garden figurines. I don't buy them. But I have something that I need to use in my supplies. And so I figured these would work. It's a, a cloche, you know, one of those glass things that sit on top of a stand. And I didn't have anything to put in there. And I really wanted to use it because I'm doing a video called Shop Your Stash. And I wanted to use it because I've had it in my supplies for like a couple of years. So I got this. It's a little fairy garden entrance and a little uh, pot with the fern in it that says welcome. 
So I brought it home and I opened it up and I put it in the cloche and it fits perfect. So I'll use that for that, which will work really nicely. Then I found these. This was real fine, never seen them before. But I wanna tell you two things about them. The first thing is they were hanging up and on the front was this cute little flower pot with flowers coming out, okay? Now I thought that these are called embossed galvanized plaques. They're flat, okay? So at first I thought the whole hanging stack was flower pots with daisies, with flowers. But then when I looked carefully, I saw that behind the stack of flower pots was another design. So I took the flower pot, hanging flower pots off, and behind it was another design of a flower pot. Okay, this is not a flower pot. This is a watering can. All right, I'm old, but I know that's a flower, that's a watering can. So behind the watering can was this flower pot with the flowers coming out. I went, oh, there's a second design. How clever. Then when I looked behind the stack of those, I saw that there was a third design of another flower pot with leaves. So if you're shopping and you see one of these designs, look carefully because behind that design may be more designs of these galvanized, embossed galvanized plaques. But the second thing I wanna tell you, this is really important, is that these are very sharp. And unbeknownst to me, I had cut my finger on one of them. So I'm shopping through Dollar Tree, and all of a sudden I look down and my finger is bleeding all over my hand. I thought, what the heck did I do? Well, I had obviously cut my finger on the edge of one of those galvanized plaques. So fortunately, the cashier had some paper towels and I just wrapped them around my finger and all was well. But do be careful when you're handling those because they are sharp and they will cut you, but it was worth it. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. It's free. And I do have videos coming up this coming week that you won't wanna miss. And the way you can be sure that you are notified is by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. I'm really trying hard to hit 500 subscribers and you can help me and become my new best friend. And I would certainly appreciate it. And you know I would love it if you would hit that like button, thumbs up, and give me a comment down below. And I hope to see you at Nona's here again very soon. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye.